CVA's Acura Series, Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being brought to you by Third Regiment Game Calls, friends, family, and faith in the outdoors. One call at a time. All right, everybody, it's time for this week's Pictures of the Week. They're being brought to you by our friends over at Flowers Garden Center and Deer Processing. You guys can find them at 4550 Eaton's Creek Road. And this weekend, being opening day of uh, rifle season, Dayton, they're going to have a drive They, were, they was so, busy before this yeah, weekend. Yeah, that's I'm right. They and covered so up. Get down there let them take care of all your processing needs. I've got all kind of specialty cuts and things that you can get. Tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. All right, our first picture here. This is a nice Percy Priest bass here. This is Jeremy James with a fish that he caught recently on Percy Priest on a 10 inch green pumpkin somebody, worm. Somebody might have had to give him that fish. You I don't think, think they he gave him it. that? I think they gave Jeremy that fish. He said he fish. caught it on a 10 inch green I, pumpkin I, worm. He found it floating with a bluegill <laughs> on its mouth or something. <laughs> Congratulations on that one, Jeremy. <laughs> All right, our next picture here. This is J.R. Sweat. And this is a nice buck that he got back in muzzleloader season. And uh, looks like he's got a good little buddy there with him to, to share the moment. So congratulations on that one, JR. And our next picture here, this is Bobby Cothran. And Bobby's been on the show here uh, in years past. I've done a lot of shooting archery with Bobby years ago. But this is a really nice buck that he got in Tennessee a few days ago in muzzleloader season. So he congratulations good, on yeah, that one. That's a good deer. Mighty good one. You didn't tie it up for him, did you? <laughs> no, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> and here on the end, we were talking about nice smallmouth a while ago, guys. Right now, there. this is a nice smallmouth. This is Darren Walker. And Darren had sent us some pictures earlier in the year, and he was going to be having the shoulder surgery and was worried he wouldn't be able to get back into uh, doing the tournaments and things like that. And this was his first tournament back, and I think he probably had a pretty good day. Yeah. <laughs> but congratulations on that one, Darren. Keep them coming to us. Y'all can send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Park. Parkway or get them to me on Facebook or at the email on the screen there and we'll have them up here on the show just as soon as we can. All right, welcome back to the studio. We are going to go right on over and check out day three of the national championship and see how everybody did in the final standings. Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Started out 247 teams. First two days of fishing, we cut that down to the top 12. Coming into today, we are getting ready to crown some champions. Today, yeah. Mississippi is Lake Northworthy and Aaron Aaron Abbott. Come on up, guys, from Brandon High School. I'd like to say thanks to everybody at home supporting us and. Especially my dad for being our boat captain. He's been in it for five years with me and I got to experience being a boat captain this year one time and it's a lot more rough than you think. So I'd like to thank everybody at home watching. They've been texting me all week supporting, letting us know that we're doing good. I'd like to thank my mom, all my family that's here. That's it. Hey, they're from Orange, Texas, the LCM high school team of Dylan East and Mickey Ridgeway. Come on up guys for the reasons you got here. Absolutely, I'd like to thank everybody watching at home. You know, we have people constantly texting and saying, you know, good luck, wishing us good luck. I'd like to thank everybody there. Uh, Miss Nelly, I'd like to thank you for everything you do. And then Dad, uh, our boat captain, you know, he, he's got us since we've been, we started this in sixth grade, and him and Mr. David both, you know. All right, uh, next team coming up, sitting in 10th place, coming into today. They are from Tennessee. It's Jackson County High School. Let's welcome up Mason Wade and Dylan Ragland. They got three fish in their bag. By Team Jackson County, let's hear it one time for Mason Wade and Dylan Ragland. Yeah, we were catching a lot of fish, just a lot of short fish. We weren't getting many keeper bites today. We got 
72 for bites on uh, Thursday, and we got four yesterday, and we just happened to land them all. So. Did you make that run today? Yeah, in the Blood River. Yeah, how was that run today? Uh, it was pretty rough. Yeah, I bet it was. And I'd like to thank the good Lord for letting us be out here this week and letting everybody be safe. Have a good time. And just, uh, we had a great week. Talk well finished, and I think it's awesome. All right, they're sitting in ninth place coming into today. They are from Mount Juliet High School, Brady Duncan and Mason Huddleston. Come on up. Three fish in your bag. So a nice job. Let's one time for Brady and Mason. Yeah, uh, top water was a big key for us this week. Uh, we caught some on a Carolina rig too, but we really found those top water fish yesterday and we started catching the one and we had a great day yesterday which allowed us to be here today what uh how, where were you guys fishing what area uh we were running about 20 20 minutes to the house and uh just working our way back um uh, burning the mouse of every pocket and every creek we could find it's team Riggs come on up james and aaron bringing two fish up to the stage so a nice job by james and aaron Riggs, mount pleasant high school We uh, fished back at Blood River with a trap. Oh, let's look, let's crankbait for really. But um, we fished shallow all week. Rocks, brushes, everything. So if anything with a hold of fish, you were throwing at it. All right. Okay. <laughs> we are. Lawrence County High School, they were in sixth place coming into today. Come on up, Hunter Brewer and Cade Surratt. All right, three fish. Hunter and Cade at a Lawrence Bird. Tennessee. Let's hear it for those guys one time. 29-15, Lawrence County High School. Well, the first two days we caught them on a jig and shaky heads and slow stuff like that. But today we, we officially started catching and missing bites on top water. It was today and it was a, we made a long run the first two days but it paid off the first day second day it paid off too well because they were trying to stay local and kind of help us bad weather that came through we had the fish to do really good but it just stayed in third place hunter keller and daniel brackett freedom high school good job guys we caught all our fish except for the big one yesterday on the underspin and uh, we think that was a big key because not everybody's throwing an underspin, you know, fish are seeing a lot of top waters and other lures, so that underspin was a real big key for us. Well, every shad everywhere is jumping on the bank, so we figured we have to use a uh, key in on shad baits, and they were just eating what we were throwing, so running the banks as fast as we can is really key. Time for Flint and James at a Leesburg, George, Lee County High School. Well, we were in the back of Big Sandy this week, and uh, there was a ditch back there that had all the fish pushed in there from, from, from the flat being so shallow. And uh, we caught them all on a hog collar spinner bait and a hog collar buzz bait and a couple on a KVD strike can 1.5. Childs High School, Tallahassee, Florida. Blake and Logan Spartan, a couple of nice ones. All right, guys. Well, I caught the big one the same way I caught all most of the fish this weekend throwing a big spook. Um, shallow on some shell bars. Um, we really just caught all of our fish on top water. We caught a couple, found some spinner baits and chatter baits. Um, but our main key was throwing a big scoop. Um, just working down some shell bar lines, real shallow. I think I pulled most of them off about a foot of, foot of water. Um, that was just a real piece. Seventh place coming into today. Scotts Hill High School, Chandler Pruitt and Braden Wilson. They got four in their bag. Three day total of 34 pounds and an ounce. Out of Lexington, Tennessee. Hey, did you have to uh, adjust with the weather conditions or was it the same thing for the past two days that you were doing today too? Well, just about every day, I'd like to say we pulled up to a spot and caught them all, but we had to put the trolling motor on high and cover a ton of water every single day. Okay, what, what were you guys, uh, how were you catching them? We were catching most of them on the Scott King Red Eye Shad, the Chatterbait. Okay, all right. Uh, and so, but again, today, was it anything different with the weather conditions, or you guys still pretty much did the same thing? Oh, uh, we found a few more fish stacked up today, but we had four keeper bites and we got them in the boat. We fished extremely clean all week. I'm really glad about that. 
and you just have to get those bots in the boat. Yeah, it is. Give the Tennessee Bass Nation. Congratulations. One more round of applause for third place. Good job, guys. All right. Come on up from Brownsburg High School, Dylan May and Adam Troyer. Woo! in your bag. Let's see if we can get you on the hot seat. Here for you guys, Brownsburg High School out of Indiana, Dylan May and Adam Troyer. 12-4-8, Well, we really got on a good morning bite, so we showed up this morning and they started eating. I think we had our first four keepers within 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, that sounds awesome. What were the key lures? Uh, we were just on a stupid tube, um, just flipping around a bridge, and we, I mean, we've been just catching them all week on that. But here's second place. Let's hear for them. 37-14, Dylan May and Adam Troyer from Brownsburg High School. And that is going to be for the first time ever a three-peat for Briarwood Christian Academy. Can we say a dynasty has formed in that school in Birmingham, Alabama? And what was the key this week? Oh, uh, we really caught all the fish on top water the first day, and then uh, yesterday the wind got up. And it kind of hurt our body a little bit, so we had to scramble and pull out the rattle trap and some other things. And today, it was so windy this morning, we couldn't even get them to come up on top water, so we had to piece together and roll the punches and put them on the rattle trap. We pulled up to our first spot, uh, didn't catch anything, made about four more stops, and I saw something on the graph that looked pretty good. We made five casts and caught 22 pounds, so, uh, and then it was, after that, we, uh, had to switch it up because it got a little windy, so we had to throw a trap in there and catch it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your 2020 Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Champion. Forget about Academy Sports and Outdoors from Broward Christian for the third year in a row. Tucker Smith and Hayden Marbutt with a three-day total of 47 pounds, five ounces. All right, everybody, it's time to go to this week's product of the week, and it's being sponsored by Caney Fork Outdoors. Y'all can find them at cfoutdoors.com or get off of I-40 at the Center Hill Dam exit. Go to the bottom of the hill and take a right, and you'll find them at the Big Rock Market, and they can get you outfitted on the river and ready to go for the year with all your kayaking needs. All right, our product tonight, this is from our friends over at Prime One Camouflage, and I know all you guys are familiar with them, and y'all at home have been seeing us wear this gear for several years now, but this is a hoodie that they've got out now, Dayton. They've got several new products, and they've got different interior liners now for them as well, uh, different options that you can get here, which gives you different warmth levels. So these right here are a great underlayer for me. I usually wear this under my bibs and then put my coat on over top of it. Cuts the wind out for me really well, so we've very, very much been pleased with these. You guys can find them at PrimeOneCamo.com or go over on Facebook and just look them up at Prime One. That's P-R-Y-M-1, the number one. So check them out and uh, we appreciate Stacy and everything they do for us here at the show. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back here with some more Southern Woods and Waters. Music. 